Hi, I'm Ian Nichols. We're talking today about the Rami sponsored uh, project with the Nursery Sod Growers Association. The objectives of this project were to determine what level of instrumentation we would need to provide useful advisories to sod growers. Some sod fields were instrumented with fully equipped weather stations like we have here. Others were equipped with just uh, soil moisture sensors and a rain gauge. A few others were equipped with just rain gauge. We overlaid uh, each field with a radar capture of the rainfall estimates. And so the objective of the project is determined with radar rainfall, how much information can we give to sod growers to help them fine tune their irrigation protocols. The information has been uploaded to a website, Turf Monitor, and on this website you can see the results of all of the fields that were instrumented. In addition, you can do some comparisons between the radar estimate and the actual rainfall measurements on the 29 fields that were instrumented with rain gauges. Soil moisture probes like this one are inserted into the soil and they take a vertical profile of the soil so you can see what's going on at different layers as you go down uh, from the surface of the soil. This helps to illustrate the distance down into the soil that is, is monitored. And we've pulled the insides of uh, some of these apart so that you can see the different layers uh, where the soil moisture is monitored. So each pair of rings is actually taking a soil moisture profile and so we have a stack of soil moisture profiles when we look at the data online. It is wired as all of the auto stations are up to a uh, automated weather station. So all of the sensors uh, that are attached to a weather station feed into the same remote transmission unit and that's how we get our data back to our processing center in Chatham and online on websites like the turf monitor. In this particular screen capture we have uh, different rain events which are signified by the blue bars at the bottom of the uh, graphic. Uh, this first rain event, as you can see, uh, did not uh, wet the soil much past the 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters wet, the 20 centimeter line did not, and the 30 centimeter line did not. But uh, here's a much larger rainfall event where you can see that the rain penetrated the 10, the 20, and the 30 centimeter uh, zones, even wetting all the way down to 30 centimeters.